Welcome to episode 9 of Meal Prep Mondays. We're getting through this series quite quickly now, and for this one, we're going to be making Mexican chicken salad. And like always, it tastes incredible and it's super easy to make. And I've added a couple new features into the video, so let me know in the comment section down below what you think of that. Let's get straight into it. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, we'll start this off by preparing the chicken and seasoning. So here is 750 grams or 1.6 pounds of chicken breast that can be placed into a mixing bowl. And to this, add in one teaspoon or two and a half grams of onion powder, one teaspoon or two and a half grams of garlic powder, with both of these having a nice concentrated flavor, one teaspoon or two and a half grams of smoked paprika for a nice light peppery flavor, as well as smoky notes and a great color, one teaspoon or two and a half grams of ground cumin for a warm earthiness, a pinch of sea salt flakes, cracked black pepper, 10 cracks worth, and one tablespoon of olive oil to help bind the seasoning and lube everything up. Get your clean hands in there and give these breasts a good rub down just until everything is well coated and once done allow this to sit whilst we prepare the other ingredients and it can also be left to season overnight if you like to plan ahead. For the salad filler ingredients here is one red onion that's obviously been peeled with both tip and root removed and all the scraps saved for a stock. This can then be sliced in half and thinly sliced in the half moon position creating nice thin strips and when you get to the opposite side just lay it flat to continue slicing safely that way it won't wobble around. I'm then using 200 grams or 7 ounces of baby cherry Roma tomatoes with these only needing to be sliced in half and then into quarters and these can be replaced with any of your favourite salad fillings such as cucumber, bell pepper, zucchini, carrot or whatever you really like honestly. Next is one bunch of coriander or cilantro which we're going to half and before those certain few jump in and go, you lost me a coriander. It can easily be left out but if you are using it just simply roughly chop half leaving the other half for later on. To get a bit citrusy here is two large limes which you may only prefer to use one so I'll leave that up for you to decide and with these we're just going to slice these in half only using one and a half saving half for another recipe or drink and to say the word half again we're going to slice one of the three halves into thin slices which may only be used as a garnish. With the remaining one lime this can just have its juice extracted either using a citrus juicer or by hand. Last but not least for the prep is one ripe avocado which can be sliced open by running a knife the whole way around the seed, being careful of your hand and I do recommend just doing this on a flat bench to then twist it and open it up. Again being careful of your hand and using a flat bench remove the stone with a cheap knife or spoon if you prefer and then just scoop out the flesh from both halves placing it into a blender bowl. Now to this add in half a cup or 120 grams of natural Greek yogurt, the remaining unchopped half of the coriander or cilantro, Two and a half teaspoons or one gram of dried oregano for a robust sweet and minty flavor and aroma. One and a half tablespoons or 30 milliliters of red wine vinegar for a sweet acidic punch. Half of the lime juice for a fresh acidic citrusy flavor and you can use more or less just adjust to your liking and then place on the lid nice and tight. Chuck this onto a high speed and blend it up until smooth, scraping down the sides with a spatula if need be. Then add in one third of a cup or 80 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil, which will loosen it up and create a dressing rather than a paste. Also adding in a pinch of sea salt flakes to taste, as well as cracked black pepper, 10 cracks worth. Get this back onto a high speed and blitz again until smooth and thick with two C's and slightly runny, leaving us with this incredible citrus avocado and yogurt dressing, which can then be portioned into containers. This recipe does also make a little bit extra than needed, but it will last up to five days in the fridge and it can be frozen for up to six months. To cook the chicken, place a large pan over medium high heat, add in one tablespoon or 20 milliliters of olive oil and once hot, place in the seasoned chicken breasts and sear for two minutes on each side, flipping them over halfway or until you have a nice golden crust on the surface. Remove the pan from the stovetop and bake these in a preheated oven set at 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit for 13 minutes. And after 13 minutes, carefully remove the pan and allow the chicken to rest for 5 minutes, turning off the oven as we no longer need it. Now as for the base for our salad, I'm using 200 grams or 7 ounces of mesclun lettuce mix and you can use any lettuce of your choice but in Australia right now a single lettuce is going for upwards of 7 Australian dollars so I went for a cheaper option. To assemble, place in the sliced red onion and quartered cherry tomatoes, the roughly chopped coriander or cilantro if using, one can of corn kernels which have been rinsed in cold water, and one can of black beans which have also been rinsed in cold water. Once the chicken breast is rested, allowing those juices to redistribute, it can then be thinly sliced using a sharp knife, slicing across the grain which breaks down the fiber and tissue, resulting in even more tender goodness. And with that initial sear for two minutes on each side and the 13 minutes in the oven, it always results in perfectly cooked chicken breast every single time without failure. So you can use that method whenever you want to cook chicken breast. Now you can leave this like it is if you wanted to, but I personally prefer it slightly torn as I find the dressing can get in there nice and deep like, allowing for a more tasty bite. 
Anyway, this can now be added to the salad bowl, getting in all of those juices, and then just use your clean hands, tongs, or a large spoon to give it all a really good mix through, ensuring everything is evenly combined. In the past, I have had people say it's gross that I use my hands, but this is my food and I'm not serving it to anyone but myself, so it doesn't matter, and obviously, if I was serving this to someone, I wouldn't do this. With that done, this can then be portioned into our containers with it filling five one liter containers really nicely. Garnish each one with those slices of lime we did earlier and then just place on the lids to then store this in the fridge for up to three days, serving the dressing alongside. And if you did put the dressing on these now, they'd only last a few hours before they start deteriorating. As for serving, bring them out of the fridge along with the delicious dressing that can be tipped over the salad, giving it a little mix through. And like always, let's make our efforts all worthwhile. And we can then hit that like and subscribe button to see more. And we can then dig in.